Good morning children. Today we are going to learn an easy and interesting grammar topic in English. Yes, we are going to learn about words that show time, direction and location of a noun. Can you guess the topic name? Yes. Today we are going to learn about position of a noun. That's why it is called preposition. Yes. Now we are going to learn about prepositions. Yes. Preposition. A preposition links a noun or a pronoun. A preposition links a noun or a pronoun with Another noun or pronoun in a sentence. A preposition links a noun or pronoun with another noun or pronoun in a sentence. Prepositions are words that show location, time and direction. Prepositions are words that show Location, time and direction. Children, can you see the book? Yes. Can you tell the position of the book or the location of the book? Yes. The book is on the table. The book is on the table. Yes. Here the preposition on tells the position, the location of the book. Now, can you see the cat? Yes, the cat is under the bench. The cat is under the bench. Here too, in this sentence, we have preposition under. The preposition explains the location of the cat. Yes, the cat is under the bench. Now we are seeing a beautiful pond. Yes. Oh my God. The frog jumped into the pond. Children. Did you see that? Yes. The frog jumped into the pond. The word into is the preposition which tells the position or location of the frog. When you look into the sentence, we have two nouns, frog and pond. Yes, to link the two nouns, we use a preposition called into. The frog jumped into the pond. Children, in this sentence, can you find the noun? Yes, there are two nouns. Very good. Frog. And pond. Frog is a name of an animal. Similarly, pond is a name of a place. Yes. The two nouns are linked using preposition. Can you guess the preposition? Yes. Into. The frog jumped into the pond. I'm searching Sheila for a long time. Will you help me to find where is she? Yes, Sheila is standing under the tree. Children, can you see? Yes, Sheila is standing under the tree. Here, the preposition under tells the location of Sheila. Yes, have you understood now? A preposition Tells the position or location, time and direction. The word under is the preposition used in the sentence. It explains the position or location of the girl Sheila. Yes. It's raining heavily. Now Tina wants to move out. She is searching for her umbrella. Yes, children. Can you guess the place? Very good. Umbrella is near the basket. 
here the word near is the preposition which helps to find the location of umbrella here in this sentence we have two nouns yes umbrella and basket the preposition near is used to link the two nouns umbrella and basket my dears can you guess the place where am i right now yes i am standing in front of taj mahal i am standing in front of taj mahal here you all know in front of is the preposition children now we are going to find the location of tom yes where is tom tom is behind the gate tom is behind the gate what is the meaning of the word yes behind means at the back of behind means at the back of the word behind is a preposition which tells the position or location of tom yes it also links the two nouns yes tom and gate which help us to find the location easily isn't it the birds flew over the river can you all see here yes over is the preposition which helps to find the location of birds the preposition over links the nouns yes what are the nouns birds river the preposition helps to find the location of birds children can you see the great personality yes mahatma gandhi was born on october 2 1869 Mahatma Gandhi was born on October 2nd 1869 Here the preposition on is used to explain the time yes the preposition on shows the time Here on is the preposition that shows time My mother wakes up at 4 o'clock my brother wakes up at 4 o'clock yes can you guess the preposition in the sentence here at is the preposition which tells the time another sentence for you children sita went to australia sita went to australia here the preposition to tells Yes the direction of the noun Sita went to Australia Ankit is coming to India from Qatar Ankit is coming to India from Qatar here yes we have two prepositions to from these prepositions help us find the direction of the nouns okay children ankit is traveling from qatar to india children shall we do book page number 58 prepositions nikki is searching high and low for her cat kitty fill in the blanks with words that show the position of kitty here we have the options behind a over under between in front of inside on top of first question children kitty is dash the box kitty is in the box kitty is in the box kitty is dash the garbage bin kitty is dash the garbage bin 
Yes, kitty is inside the garbage bin. And the next question, kitty is dash the house. Yes, can you guess the answer by seeing the picture? Yes, kitty is behind the house. Kitty is behind the house. Kitty is dash the shed. Yes, kitty is dash the shed. Can you guess my dears? Very good. Kitty is under the shed. Kitty is under the shed. And the next question. Kitty is dash the shed and the tree. Kitty is dash the shed and the tree. Yes, kitty is between the shed and the tree. Kitty is between the shed and the tree. Kitty is dash the house. Kitty is dash the house. Yes, kitty is in front of the house. Kitty is in front of the house. And the next question. Kitty is jumping dash the bench. Kitty is jumping dash the bench. Very good. Kitty is jumping over the bench. Kitty is jumping over the bench. And the next question children. Kitty is dash the roof of the house. Kitty is dash the roof of the house. Yes. Kitty is on top of the roof of the house. Kitty is on top of the roof of the house. Please take page number 59 children. Choose the appropriate preposition for each sentence. Here we have prepositions. Now we are going to choose the appropriate preposition for each sentence. First question. Drivers should not blow the horn dash hospitals. Yes, near hospitals. Drivers should not blow the horn near hospitals. Second question. My cousin is coming to India dash Italy. My cousin is coming to India dash Italy. Yes, from Italy. Shall we read the sentence now? My cousin is coming to India from Italy. Third question children. Ram, Sita and Lakshman were sent dash the forest dash 14 years. Yes. Ram, Sita and Lakshman were sent to the forest. Were sent to the forest for 14 years. Okay. Shall we read the sentence now? Ram, Sita and Lakshman were sent to the forest for 14 years. Now the fourth question. Every morning my mother wakes up dash 5 o'clock. Yes, it's time. So we should write at. Every morning my mother wakes up at 5 o'clock. Ritish watches TV dash dinner. Ritish Watches TV dash dinner. Yes, Ritish watches TV after dinner. Ritish watches TV after dinner. And the next question children. The train is passing dash the tunnel. The train is passing dash the tunnel. Yes, the train is passing through the tunnel. The train is passing through the tunnel. Seventh question. Sachin Tendulkar was born dash April 24, 1973. Yes, Sachin Tendulkar was born on April 24, 1973. Last 8th question children. Throw the ball dash the basket. Throw the ball dash the basket. Yes, throw the ball into the basket. Throw the ball into the basket. Encircle the prepositions in the given sentences. Write each preposition on the line. One has been done for you. It's important to reach school on time. It's important to reach school on time. Yes, 
we should circle on we should circle on and please take and write on the blank third question we get many phone calls at home yes at is the preposition so we should circle at and write on the line okay now fourth question children i do my homework before dinner i do my homework before dinner yes here before is the preposition so please circle before and take and write on the line next question she got a new dress on her birthday she got a new dress on her birthday very good on is the preposition here we should circle on rati and kamal will speak with you rati and kamal will speak with you yes very good we should circle with with is the preposition here i live in washi near the station yes near is the preposition please circle near and take and write the letter came from china the letter came from china yes children you all know from is the preposition here please circle from and take and write from on the line ninth question children tell me about your country tell me about your country yes about is the preposition please circle about and take and write tenth question arjun shot at the target arjun shot at the target yes at is the preposition so please circle at take page number 60 match the words in group a with the words in group b with the help of prepositions as shown then read the completed sentences children now we are going to match group a the words in group a with the words in group b you see yes prepositions can you see the prepositions which is listed in center yes in between group a and group b first we are going to match group a with the preposition and then again we are going to match from the preposition with the words at group b okay ready i will meet my friend at the park today yes children now we will move to the next sentence anshul speaks very loudly in the phone yes anshul speaks very loudly in the phone rahil combed his hair with a new hair brush rahil combed his hair with a new hair brush and the next question mehika looks just like her father mehika looks just like her father and the next question mahatma gandhi was born in porbandar gujarat mahatma gandhi was born in porbandar gujarat next question children my father watches tv until dinner time my father watches tv until dinner time and the next question a new child sat beside me on the bench a new child sat beside me on the bench and the next roman children read each sentence choose the preposition that describes the scene first question children the number chart is near or below the alphabet chart yes can you see the picture very good the number chart is below the alphabet chart the next question children the teacher is walking from 
or through the door. The teacher is walking. Yes, through the door. The teacher is walking through the door. The teacher's scarf is beside or on top of the pile of books. Yes, the teacher's scarf is on top of the pile of books. The kittens are under or near the desk. Yes, the kittens are near the desk. Children, now we will revise prepositions. Ready? Okay, where am I standing? Yes, I am standing in front of an engine. I am standing in front of an engine. In this sentence, in front of is the preposition which is used to identify the position or location of a noun. Now, can you guess the place? Where am I? Yes, I am standing on the engine. I am standing on the engine. Here, on is the preposition which is used to identify the position of a noun. Children, now I am standing inside the train. I am standing inside the train. Here, inside is the preposition which is used to identify the position of noun. Yes? Children, can you identify where am I? Yes, I am standing behind the wagon. I am standing behind the wagon. Here behind means at the back of. Behind means at the back of. I am standing at the back of the wagon. Behind is the preposition. Now can you guess where am I? Yes, I am standing beside the statue. I am standing beside the statue. Beside means yes, I am standing next to the statue. Children, so far we learned prepositions that show time and direction. Yes, prepositions like at, on, in, before, after, until, from, to, through, tells. Yes, the time and direction of a noun. What is a preposition? A preposition links a noun or pronoun with another noun or pronoun in a sentence. A preposition links a noun or pronoun with another noun or pronoun in a sentence. Prepositions are words that show location, time and direction. We learned Many prepositions today. Shall we recollect all the prepositions? Prepositions that show the location or position of a noun. In, on, beside, under, over, in front of, on top of, behind. And the prepositions that show time and direction at on before after until from to through with thank you children